Today I will be making fuming nitric acid from hardware store ingredients. First, we will need potassium nitrate. The potassium nitrate I used was potassium nitrate and stump remover, so it probably has a few other impurities. I measured out 343 grams of potassium nitrate and added it into a flask. I had to do it in small portions because my scale didn't go up to 343 grams. I added the potassium nitrate into a flask. I later moved the contents into a larger flask because I needed more room. The other ingredient for this reaction is sulfuric acid. I measured out 180 milliliters of 94% sulfuric acid found in drain cleaner. You can use better sulfuric acid and potassium nitrate and you may you may get a better yield and purity of your final product. I then added this sulfuric acid into the same flask with the potassium nitrate. When mixing the two it might make a little bit of heat and a little bit of nitrogen oxides so be careful After all the sulfuric acid was added, I set up for a distillation. I connected a hose that ran outside so I wouldn't be breathing in nitrogen oxide gases. Heat is applied to the reaction flask and then you'll see nitric acid slowly distilling off and collecting in your receiver flask. I decided to take a few pictures of the flask at different times so you can see how it progressed. At first you will see brownish red fumes throughout the distillation apparatus that is nitric oxides and you don't want to breathe that in. Eventually, the nitrogen oxides will clear up and you will start to distill off nitric acid. Unfortunately, I saw a small amount of nitric acid leaking through one of my glass joints, so I had to end the distillation early and I only got about half of what I expected to get. Now I'm going to test out my fuming nitric acid. While doing this, you do not want to wear gloves because fuming nitric acid will light the gloves on fire because it is a very strong oxidizer.